Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a get ready with me. I am going to work today and this video is in collaboration with TIJN Eyewear. So thank you so much to them for collaborating with me on this video. And without further ado, let's just get started. Also, my headband is from Urban Outfitters. I love these towel headbands for um, putting my hair back when I do my makeup and washing my face and they're just so cute. I'm obsessed and I've seen people on TikTok with this headband too. So I'm like, oh, a lot of people have it. Also, let me show you my shirt. Masmo got this for me for Christmas. It is of Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. I love it. He's my favorite character, but I love all the characters. They're all so great. And Jujutsu Kaisen is probably my favorite anime. Um, I mean, top three is definitely that, Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. And Masmo also got me the first manga for Jujutsu Kaisen, and it'll be the first time I ever read a manga as well, so I'm so excited. I have to... I'm going to get to that, though, only when summer break um, comes around because I'm just too busy with school right now, and I read every single day for school, so it's hard for me to enjoy reading on my own time. <laughs> I'm going to prime with the ColourPop No Filter Primer. I did a project pan with this, and I'm almost finished. I'm just going to use this until I finish it. And this primer is really, really nice. How to make a blast all day. Basically, apply like a lotion and apply it all over my face. Oh, I also got my nails done on Sunday. It is a pink French tip with raindrops on them. And they are so cute. I'm obsessed. I did baby pig for Valentine's Day. And it is also the first time I do a French Manny. And I am loving it. For foundation, I'm going to take the matching ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This foundation is really great. And it lasts all day on my skin as well. Now I'm just going to buff this into my skin. To conceal, I like to go in with a dark concealer that pretty much matches my foundation to cover up any spots or redness. And then I'll go in with a lighter concealer to brighten up. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. concealer. I don't know what it's called. It's in the shade light. This is really, really old. And I'm just going to apply this on my spots and where it's red. And then I'm going to take the Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer that's waterproof. Oh, and it's tattoo covering in the shade Natural Beige. This concealer is $5 and I find it so underrated. I need to hear more people talking about this because it is really, really good for the price and everything. Um, but Essence makeup is pretty good. Like most of its makeup for its price range, it's great. It's one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands. And then I'll just go in with the same foundation brush to buff everything out. To cream bronze, I'm going to take the Soul Body Cream Bronzer from ColourPop in the shade Medium. This is my favorite cream bronzer and it smells so delicious. And I'm going to take a stippling brush and just apply it and blend it into my face. I find it easiest to apply with a stippling brush. I used to apply it with a denser brush and then take a different brush to blend it out, but it's just a lot faster to use a stippling brush. And then to cream contour my nose and lips, I like to take the NYX Micro Contour Pencil. Um, this is in the shade Medium Deep. I'll take the contour side and I'll go down the sides of my nose draw a line then I'll go around the tip and then draw a circle at the tip of my nose to give me a button nose and then for my lips I'll just draw around them and then I'll go back in with the stippling brush and just blend this out now I'm going to set everything with the physicians formula three-in-one mineral wear setting powder 
um, and I just like to mix all of the shades. It comes with the pink, yellow, and white shade. And I just take my powder puff and I just press the powder into my skin. This powder has lasted me so long, but I really want to try the Rare Beauty Powder because Michaela on TikTok said that it was the best powder she ever tried, so that'll probably be the next powder I try. And I always use drugstore powder, so really want to get a high-end powder next. Morgan has the Fenty Beauty setting powder, and that is the best setting powder I've ever tried as of to date, but it's expensive. So now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, and I always take my Natasha Denona Fever Palette, and I take the shade Pasha, and just take an angled brush, and fill in my eyebrows. I like to outline the bottom first, then the top, and then just fill it in. I've been growing out my hair and it's getting pretty long. It's the longest it's ever been. I'm trying to grow my hair to my butt because I've never had super long hair. And I just want to see if my hair can even grow that long because it's never really been past chest length. I want to go get my hair done soon. I'm probably going to go next week because my roots are so grown out. And I'm definitely overdue. I always go every three months to get my hair done. I dye my roots and I redye my whole hair because the red fades really fast. And now I'm going to set my eyebrows with the St. Lux Brow Gel. And this is the best brow gel I've ever tried. It's in the shade Clear. I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag. It's very sticky and tacky and really keeps my brows in place. I like to apply two coats. So I'll just brush my eyebrow hairs up. And then I'll go in a second time to straighten everything out and make sure my eyebrow hairs are in the place that I want them to be. See the difference? So good. Now onto the eyes. I was just trying to decide which eyeshadow palette to use. Every day I always try to use a different palette or multiple palettes because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. So today I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Nude Palette for all of the matte shades. I'm first going to go into Raw Sienna, just over here. Just apply this into my crease. I'm going to apply the same shade onto my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into Toast. And just apply this into my crease. This palette is my go-to for browns because it just has such a great variety of shades. And then I'm going to go into Maple Syrup. And I'm going to apply this in my outer corner. I have been filming so many makeup reels on Instagram. I love filming the reels. And they're so quick and easy to film. Because I just don't have much time to film and edit YouTube videos of me doing my makeup. So instead I just film on Instagram for the most part sometimes on TikTok. Uh, I'll do some talk throughs on TikTok But yeah, definitely um, check out my Instagram or TikTok if you like to see more makeup videos and stuff because I mostly post my content there Now for the start of the show, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette I'm just obsessed with this palette. It is so so pretty so so shimmery and I'm so happy that I have two of these <laughs> So great for ASMR love this packaging so much. So here is the palette. I've tried three shades so far, these three, and I want to try a new shade today. So today I'm going to go into, oh, today I'm going to go into Tiger's Eye. And I just like to um, apply this with my finger. Just 
so, so pretty. Like, look at that. <gasps> Stunning. Now I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner with some eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the shade Take a Hike. And just draw out a wing. I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. I'm going to do my brown highlight as well. I'm going to take the Mary Luminizer from the Bomb. This is my current project pan. This highlighter is so underrated. It used to be so popular back in the day, but it's still really, really good. And even just the Bomb in general, I never hear anyone talking about them. And I have a few of the Bomb products. And their products are great and their packaging is, of course, always so cute. I'm going to apply Lash Primer first. This is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This one's really good. Before this, I was using the Milk Kush Lash Primer. That was also really good. So I think this is almost done. I need to find a new lash primer. I was thinking about trying the KVD one. We'll see. I never repurchase products because I always like to try new products and there's so many makeup brands these days and so many new releases that I need to explore and try out new products. No matter how much I love a product, I will never repurchase it. Because it takes so long to finish a makeup product anyways, you know, because it's like, okay, I've clearly been using this for months, let's try something new. I like to let that dry a bit and get tacky. While I wait, I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna take this Tardis Pro Glow To Go palette. This is so old. And I'm gonna take the shade Chisel. I used to use this all the time. I'm just contour my face. And then I'm just going to take a small fluffy angled brush to contour my nose. So I'll do the exact same thing I did when I cream contoured it. I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose and apply the tip in circular motion. And then I'll just apply a bit beneath my lip. Now for mascara, I'm going to go in with the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. And I'll apply a few coats of this. Now for blush, I'm going to take my Scott Barnes Blush Palette. I had stopped using this because it was the only palette I was using. And I was like, okay, I need to stop using this and continue using some of my other blushes. But now I started getting back into it and I'm obsessed yet again. I am going to take these two shades, Crush and Blush and Strike a Rose, and just apply this to the back of my cheeks, but I like to apply this pretty high up. For the apples of my cheeks, I'm just going to mix all of the other blush shades together. <laughs> and look, I hit pan on the orange shade. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> I'm going to try this really high up. Then I'm going to apply a little bit across the bridge of my nose. And just at the tip. This is from the brand Air Du. I got this from a Sephora in Greece. And it is a sparkling body. Bleh. It's a sparkling powder face and body in the shade Bursting Lava. Now I'll just wipe this over my cheeks. And put this at the tip of my nose. I'm just going to apply some outer corner lashes. They're these pair of lashes I got from Chinatown. I just cut them in half. They're very voluminous and short and perfect for wearing glasses. While I let the first lash dry, I'm going to highlight my nose with the Mary Luminizer. This is the first time I've had extensions applied to my nails in over two years. I have had press-ons, but 
the press-ons would fall off after a few days and I'd have to always keep reapplying them. And I haven't had nails this long, so I'm still getting used to them. This highlighter is so bright, but it's not crazy shimmer. It's just really, really luminous. Pop it on. Or it'll be easier. I'll just press my lashes with the fake lashes. So they look more seamless. Makes such a nice difference. Now for the lips. This is my current favorite lipstick. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Rome. It is the perfect everyday shade for me because I love a deep pink. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. I just applied the second coat and now I'm going to align my lips with this Morphe lip liner in Coffee and Kissy. I don't purchase from Morphe anymore, but I need to use with these lip liners. And I'm going to go into the Rare Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Confident. And this is just a paler pink, and I'm going to apply this in the center of my lips just to give more dimension. And lastly, I'm going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I'm almost done. This is really nice. This is my go-to makeup look every day. The style of makeup. I do just a shimmery eye, a lot of blush, this lipstick, shimmery cheeks. And I just put on these hoops from H&M. Now I'm going to put on my glasses. I'm going to show you the two pairs of glasses that TIJN Eyewear sent me. Here is the box. I love the glasses case. I chose these large, thick, clear framed glasses. I used to have transparent purple tinted glasses and I really loved the transparent look so I wanted to get just another pair of transparent glasses. These ones have a gray tint. I really like them. I think they're really cute. Very different. My other two pair of glasses are just brown but they're also big but these are the biggest ones I have now. Very interesting. I've never had glasses this big. Can't wait to wear these to work. These ones are the Sasha Gold Color Classic Glasses. And then I have these ones. These ones are metal frames and they're a square shape. I love these ones. I love the square shape. It's very retro. Gives me strong 80s vibes. These are really, really cute. These ones are the Ukami O-O-K-A-M-I golden classic glasses and they also sent me a purse they also have some accessories they have shoes and bags so here is the box for the purse so here is the purse i love this color i love the size and the style it's so so pretty and it also comes with a longer strap so that you could wear it cross body and this is the katrine c-a-t-r-i-n orange bag I'll have TIJN Eyewear linked down below so you can check out their website. Thank you so much to them for collaborating with me on this video. And that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below any other videos that you'd like me to film. And I'd also love to know some of your current favorite makeup products so I can check them out. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. My socials will be linked down below. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.